Good morning everybody, welcome back to a what I wore in a week. I have not done one of these in so long but I felt very inspired by my outfit today to pick up the camera and I am really looking forward to really delving in and sinking my teeth into some autumn outfits this season. I just, I think my wardrobe is like the best it's ever been in terms of autumn winter fashion. I feel really excited about it. I think last year I really worked on like having good basics and having a good structure to my outfits so yeah I'm just really excited to wear my autumn outfits this year. Today's I am particularly excited about obviously because I decided to start this video. I'm wearing my new M&S faux fur coat of dreams. I'm just popping out for a coffee with a friend so yeah I just thought it's it's casual but it looks nice and the new hair <laughs> the new hair is really giving me like autumn winter feelings and it's just so nice and I think it's really like just stepping up my autumn wind like every outfit even if it's a basic outfit with this hair looks so good i mean the waves the waves were done by my hairdresser i'm a little bit scared of having to do these myself they were like curlier yesterday but i really like how they've come out today and they're just really relaxed and there's just a little bit of movement i really like it i think she left a lot of the ends out so i need to remember to do that because i think that will make my normal curls look a little bit more like this because we use the same curler so yeah but i feel like the hair is really making the outfits is this a really lazy girl way of styling maybe because i'm just relying on the hair but yeah i'm ready to go so i'm going to show you my outfit now for anyone that's just finding me and you're new here yes i talk a lot i'm so sorry i'm actually wearing like no jewelry today i will rectify that tomorrow but i just really can't be bothered today and i actually like how simple this outfit is so i am wearing a skims long sleeve body which is one of my favorite tops in my wardrobe i absolutely love it especially for this time of year it's just like the perfect autumnal tone and then i have the mns faux fur coat on this keeps coming in and out of stock so i will i've saved the link so i will pop it in the info box and if you guys want to try and get it just refresh every day and just see if it comes back in i've then got some new jeans on these are low rise from motel and i get them off urban outfitters i've got my platform uggs on with them because these haven't been trimmed down yet they're a little bit long and then my reformation bag complete with adorable jelly cat clip on on it i've just clipped it onto the hair clip that sits on my bag and it works really nicely it's cute this is giving like grown-up outfit but then i just need to remind everyone that i'm actually a five-year-old i'm gonna pick up some foodie bits while i'm out so extra large bag is an essential and yeah that is today's outfit of the day oh sunnies i need to put some sunnies on it's not particularly sunny but my eyeballs just hate daylight so i think these could be cute right what do we think these look so different on me with a fringe which is so bizarre because it's actually like the smallest hair change in the world i'm gonna stick with these i like the gold i feel like it just adds something to the outfit especially because i'm not wearing jewelry i would have worn my ysl brown cat eye ones but i have lost them again i don't know where they've gone but yeah this is today's outfit of the day i will see you guys probably tomorrow unless i change into something cute to lounge in this evening so yeah over and out from me good afternoon everybody this is my lounge outfit of the afternoon i'm actually going to do a little bit of matte pilates as well so i've gone for these tala what do you call them like yoga pants they're really cute oh, i just love them i think they're great you can actually have them like really high-waisted if you want to which is like they like they go super high-waisted i will probably never ever wear them like that but they do that kind of like noughties folded over kind of thing and i love these i have a pair of these from adnola in gray and i wear them all the time and i saw these on the tala website and i was like yes i need these in black they're so nice they're so stretchy as well and so comfortable really really soft i've then just got a skims vest top on these are my favorite style of skims vest tops and then i also have a cardigan just thrown over my shoulders like i said i'm gonna do a little pilates mat workout so i'm not gonna want a cardigan on but once i cool down and i'm all done i might get a bit chilly so the cardigan is nice it's like a v-neck cardigan but i'm probably gonna wear it back to front i really like doing that with a v-neck so you get like a it looks like just like a regular jumper from the front and then it's got a lower back and it's very cute but the other thing i'm wearing is my uggs i don't really wear these out of the house at the moment they're just like my indoor uggs i love them so yeah that is my outfit of the afternoon and this is the jumper on back to front which i really like it just makes me feel a bit more cozy because my chest is covered yeah 
I love it. Hello everybody, today we have a very dull day. It's a working from home day. I'm literally about to pop out and do some returns. So nothing particularly exciting, but this is my outfit of the day. So we have this really cute lily silk jumper. I've had this, I think I got this last year. I've had this for a year now. I really like it. It's just such a nice, easy, easy basic. I think it's cashmere and it keeps me really nice and warm. And I love the tone of it. It works really well in my wardrobe. And then I also have a cos belt and cos jeans. I got these in January. I love them. And I really like pairing them with my platform Uggs. These jeans are really difficult to work with in terms of like the length and the shape of them. They don't work with every single pair of shoes that I own, but they work nicely with these and they help to balance out the outfit a lot. And then I've also thrown on my favorite trench coat of the moment. I'm obsessed with this. It works really nicely with all of the various tones of the outfit. I think you're going to see this one a lot in this what I wore in a week. I am really obsessed with this jacket. I'm dreading the rainy season coming in the spring because I just want to wear this all the time. I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, that is today's OOTD for a very boring day, but not a boring outfit. Good morning, everybody. I have a meeting today. I'm actually, I'm basically dressed, but I am really struggling to decide on a bag. I think I might go with this one. Oh, I don't know. I really like the difference in like, this adds another tone, but I also just love how like seamless this bag works with the outfit. And I like that it adds a texture. But this one also adds, oh, I don't know. I have to say I gravitate towards my big suede bag that you can see in the background there a lot. But when I want to wear a brown suede coat, <laughs> I do struggle a little bit. Also, I'm trying out the full fringe today. I'm scared. I'm scared. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, it's cute. And I like the fact that it has a short strap. It also has a longer strap, but the short strap is long enough that I can wear it under my arm if I want. You also could do the very cool like fashion-y thing of holding it like this, but <laughs> I literally never do that. Yeah, it's cute. And I think the brown tone works with the outfit really well. Not that you can really see because once again, it's so dark. I feel very disoriented. Obviously having been away so much, I don't really feel like I got a feel for the seasons changing. And earlier I was like, but it's only October. Like, why is it so dark? No, it's not October. It's not. That's why it's so dark, Susie. That's why. Yeah, what do we think on the fringe? I can't decide if my roots are still... So my colour is still settling. I find it takes a good month for my colour to settle. But I can't decide if maybe once my hair is a bit lighter, the fringe will be... The full fringe will be less of a contrast. What do we think? Can you let me know? I think it's cool. I think it's maybe also slightly long. Like, these bits are okay, but then maybe... Some of the other pieces need to be a bit shorter. I also feel like it hasn't really settled yet, but I find fringes take a long time because you're basically training the hair to be where it's not normally. So we're working with it, but let me know what you think. But maybe, <laughs> I don't know, I get scared. Maybe my little swoopy bangs are better today, but I do like the fact that I can chop and change between the two. Like I think even if I trimmed them a fraction shorter, I could still wear them like this and I really like that. But yeah, this is going to be my outfit of the day. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent. So we have this brown suede trench. This is different to my other brown suede trench. This one is from Massimo Dutti. I really like this one. It's more of a casual trench. It's got a bit more of a like my Nana's jacket vibe to it, which I say because my Nan used to just exclusively wear like either a cream or a mint green one of these when I was younger, so I find this style of jacket that everyone is wearing right now hysterical because I just envision it being worn with like a midi skirt and a cute t-shirt, all that match the same pastel vibe. We're the same, we're just different generations. Anyway, I have got Obmi's earrings in and then an Aurelia necklace. I've also just got my tiny R, which I wear all the time. I always forget to talk about it because it's so small and I, you can barely see it. Every so often someone asks me about it and I'm like, oh, I wear that. Yes, of course. That's from Monica Vinida. I got that, I think, earlier in the year. It's solid gold. I never take it off. I love it. Then I've got a vest top on. This is a cashmere vest top, so I stay really nice and warm wearing this, but I don't have to wear a lot of layers like cashmere. If you can invest in some good cashmere for your wardrobe for the winter. If you're not a layering girl, you don't like a really heavy knit, like I am not always a fan of them. Like 90% of the time, I don't want to wear a heavy knit. Cashmere is your go-to. I've got a YSL belt, which is very old now, because jeans, I love these jeans. These are the best with these boots. I'm obsessed with them. These boots are very old from Topshop. And then I've got my Max Mara bag. It's a cute outfit. I like it. So yeah, off for meetings today. 
I'll be back with you tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it is the weekend. I am just popping out to see my family and I'm just wearing a really, really easy outfit of the day. So we've got my Massimo Duty short suede jacket on. I'm trying to get the most wear out of these that I can before the weather and the cold well and truly snaps because these are definitely like some real summer to autumn transitional jackets. They are not the thickest at all. I've got my anthropology little mini bag because I don't really need to take anything and then I've got my Cezanne jeans on these are some of my favorite jeans an old belt from Mango and then my Cezanne boots which I love and I really like the fact that the boots and the jacket match I'm not sure if I'm loving my fringe today I'm trying to make it work I do you know what I really like it in real life and then as soon as I turn the camera on the contrast levels it kind of contrasts my hair and my face more than they're actually contrasting and it just makes it look oh no it doesn't look like that in real life like this bit looks really like there's one bit that looks really really thick on camera like it just looks like there's one i don't know it just looks like there's one bit of hair when actually there's fringe the whole way along my head it's just the finer pieces aren't really picking up i liked it better the way it was i think i think i need to wash it it's giving up on me sorry there was someone at my door anyway just to reassure you all there are hairs but anyway i think the fringe works nicely with this outfit there's something i really love about a suede outfit and then like darker hair in a fringe it's really nice i do regret not going dark on my ends now though because i feel like the ends of my hair are blending into this jacket a little bit but anyway this is my outfit of the day i was tempted to go for a different jacket but I think I'll just work that in to another outfit later this week. But yeah, just a nice little Saturday morning outfit. Let me know what you think about the browns and the blue because I was not sure at first, but I feel like it works. Although my camera keeps making it go really bright so you can't really see it properly. This is the issue that plagues me in the winter is there is just not enough daylight and outfits don't look how they actually look. But yeah, this is a good representation of what it looks like. But I think, I feel like the lighter tones work really nicely and then we've got like a dark bag to mix in with it yep happy saturday i am back we're actually off on a spontaneous date night this evening so i thought i would quickly show you my outfit i've actually worn this one recently but i don't think i got to properly show you it because i vlogged that day but like three clips so yeah i actually liked this outfit better before i dyed my hair because my hair gave it some contrast but it is what it is and i needed to be ready fast and i know i really like this outfit and it works really well for date nights so i will show you what's on underneath the coat because I really like the dress although sadly I don't think it's available anymore but I'll try and find something similar the jacket is from COS last year again not sure if this exact same one is available but I found what I think is a coat that is exactly the same and the price point is exactly the same so TBC on whether it actually is the same jacket or not I don't know I don't know how these things work with retailers but they're very very similar jackets so I would highly recommend it not the cheapest coats but very much worth it I love the quality of their coats the dress I can't remember if I just said is from Reformation and then I've got some like really sheer tights on I think these are actually brown and I really this was a game changer for me is buying sheer tights that are brown and not black I think it just works so much better on me I don't know why I don't know what it is I think there's just some outfits that just need a brown and not a black and then i've got my stuart wiseman boots which are one of the best mr village finds ever i literally wear them all the time they were so worth the money and so well discounted i actually need to go back there this december for a little shopping trip because that was a great time to go in the run-up to christmas anyway anthropology bags all my stuff is in it from earlier and then i actually didn't get to talk to you about my jewelry i think i got my brain got sidetracked i've got these drop earrings I got from Etsy on. I love these, I wear them all the time. And then I really like my neck stack today. So we've got a necklace from Swarovski, Swarovski, which I actually bought to wear for the wedding and just never ended up wearing it because I forgot all of my jewelry. I forgot to take my jewelry changes with me on the day. So didn't get to wear that in the evening, but just gonna wear it as much as I can now. I've then got my tiny little R necklace on and then I've got a tennis necklace on which is also from Monica Vinida both the R necklace and this R Monica Vinida and it's so nice and all of the lengths work really beautifully together I'm a big fan for my rings I've got lots of Monica Vinida today I've got the tennis ring on from them and then I also have my pebble ring from my Aurelia edit on and yeah oh, I need to show you the dress this is a knitted dress 
from Reformation. I love it. If you can get your hands on it on like Vinted or whatever reselling sites, I would highly recommend it. It is gorgeous. It's a cashmere dress, so it keeps me really nice and warm in the winter. It's got kind of like a little collar to it that sits on the shoulder, which is very cute. Like a scooping neckline. I've kind of popped this to sit a little bit higher because I just think it's a bit more flattering on me and then it actually isn't this short I've pinned it up because otherwise it comes down to like here on me so just be aware but if you are taller and you like this dress just know that it will probably be amazing on you and not too short but yeah that is my date night outfit this is just such a go-to for me I love it I wear it for meetings and things like that as well because it just is a really easy way to look put together. So that is it from me this evening. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Hello everybody. We are literally just about to head out for a Sunday lunch and I wanted to show you what I am wearing. I really love this outfit. I am running a little bit late, so I do need to make it quick, but I couldn't resist showing you this one. This is a bit different for me in a lot of ways. I'm actually wearing like a midi dress, which I don't tend to like gravitate towards. I really like this one. It's from Holland Cooper. It's got a little collar, v-neck, and then it's fully like long sleeved you can see it's like poking out under my jacket like nice and long i guess this would be a little bit of a shorter midi length on most people on me it's very nearly a maxi it comes to just above the ankle which does make it hard to style with boots so for me this is a like knee high boot or longer boot situation i've actually got these chocolate boots on which are also from holland cooper these are gorgeous i love them they're really good for me i find it really hard to find boots that fit my calf so these are great they've got a little bit of stretch to them as well which is lovely so hopefully they're good for most people i'm not a boot expert though i find quite often they're too big like either along the back or along the side like my stuart weidsman ones come out really far on the side and you could see them poking through the dress which was a bit annoying but this chocolate colored pair actually works so well shockingly with the holland cooper chocolate colored dress so with that in mind i decided to go for this jacket which i actually always considered burgundy and i'm pretty sure that's the color of it but now i am wondering if i was wrong but I'm pretty sure the colour online was also burgundy. But I think it works really well with the outfit as a whole. So we're going for a whole like monochrome look. I thought this was perfect for a Sunday roast because number one, like when I take the jacket off, it's like a nice, smart, casual vibe. Like good family Sunday roast vibe. Like looks quite smart, but like plenty of room for eating, which we love. I need to take a bag actually. I'm tempted by my anthropology one, but I also have this one. Oh, oh no. Which I love and seeing as i am dressed like a little bit smarter i feel like i could maybe get away with this i also just love the shape and i think it's a nice like the color is basically the same as my anthropology bag but the shape is a little bit more interesting and we've got a lot of like curved shapes with this outfit like even the tone of the boots is like a rounded toe so i think it's quite nice to add like a square shape into the mix i'm hoping it looks nice anyway i've also got my Etsy drop earrings in, my tiny R necklace, and again, no jewellery. I'm really just not feeling jewellery at the moment, but yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I'm going to do the jacket up because I think it looks quite cool. But yeah, that is today's outfit. I keep forgetting to talk you through my fragrances, which I really enjoy doing in these videos. I'm wearing Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy today. This is so beautiful, like very vanilla-y, tonka a little bit smoky, but there's something like a really interesting floral note to it, which I adore. This is one of my favorite Jo Malone fragrances. This is like my top three. This is number three, then Golden Vanilla and Vetiver, something like that. And then obviously Marin Tonka is my like number one favorite. I'm obsessed. This is my choice for today. Good morning, everybody. First off, please excuse any mess that you see in the room because I do not have the mental capacity to be cleaning up after myself today. I have made a really good effort with it all week. Today, not so much. But anyway, today I am actually off into Brighton. I am going to go and get my new retainers. I'm going to go and pick them up. So I'm just wearing a really easy casual outfit today. I've got my mango long coat that I bought last year. I hope they bring this back this year. If they do, hopefully it's in stock and I will link it. This is just the best coat. I have it in the camel tan color as well and they're both truly so beautiful. I then have a Zara body on underneath because it's that kind of weird weather where it's cold but it's not too cold so I'm like oh this is perfect like minimal layers weather and then I have my motel low-rise jeans on and my Ugg platforms because Ryan's going to come into town with me and when I walk around with him I like to be taller so I try to either wear a boot or an Ugg and then I've got my Reformation bag 
bag complete with adorable jelly cat charm and a really a necklace fendi earrings i haven't worn these in so long but i just love them i feel like a little hoop like this does really suit me and i don't really wear them enough i need to put my ring on my wedding ring but other than that literally no jewelry i'm just keeping it really simple at the moment i don't really want to be faffing too much with jewelry especially on my on my fingers i'm really enjoying them being a little bit more free so that is today's OOTD. I really like this. This is my favourite kind of outfit. Just like a simple black and denim combo. Hello everybody. It's actually a sunny day for once. I'm literally over the moon because it means I don't have to wear a coat. I can actually wear my new jacket which I love so much. This whole outfit is giving a throwback to Devil Wears Prada. The end scene where she has her hair in a little like, she has it in a little bun. She's got a fringe. Is it a bun? Like a half bun or a ponytail. So she has it up and she has a fringe and she's wearing like a leather jacket. I actually think this whole hairstyle era of my autumn wardrobe is actually fully inspired by Devil Wears Prada, which actually, now that I think about it, is, isn't my autumn wardrobe every year inspired by that film because that film slays. But yeah, this jacket I love. It's like a collared biker silver detailing there's not too much going on i think i sized up in this to give it a little bit more of a baggy kind of look it is high street very pleased with this find the quality is still insane though i will link it i'm actually i'm hoping this won't be out of stock by the time you guys see it because this brand has been killing it when it comes to jackets recently underneath i'm wearing a skims brown body i've actually got holland cooper jeans on today i stand by i think Holland Cooper, sorry, not my juvenile. I'm really cute and autumnal. The background is cute and autumnal. And then you can just see my dresser, which is like Barbie has thrown up on it. But yeah, I stand by the fact that I think Holland Cooper jeans may be my favorite jeans. They are so good. These are like a, they're not a skinny, but they're not a baggy straight leg. They're just the perfect, not too tight, but still look cool jean. I think they're actually meant to be a mom jean, but there's nothing about this that gives me mom jean vibes but yeah they're, they're the perfect like skinny straight leg jean and they've got enough like space around the hips to accommodate hips if you have hips and if you don't they'll just be like cool and slouchy so i i love that i love the whole design of them and then i've got some old top shop boots i think they just work really well with the cut on the leg of the jeans and then i have my red anthropology like burgundy anthropology bag i love this bag so much one of my best finds of the year i also have it in lime green for the summer their bags and anthrop anthropology bags they're great i'm a big big fan of them but yeah that is my outfit of the day oh and my earrings i'm wearing like a statement earring i actually got these so long ago but i'll try and link them because sometimes they bring them back they kept selling out and like coming back in stock it's been three years and sometimes i still see them but yeah i'll try and link them if i can because they're such a good find but yeah that is my outfit of the day going for lunch with the girls i will see you guys later good morning everybody i am just at home today but i really like today's outfit so i wanted to show it to you i've got this top on from asos this is actually part of a set i bought it in cream it comes with a knitted skirt as well which is really nice it comes in cream olive green and i also think i have it in black as well but i actually love this with jeans i think like the blue slouchy jean is just so nice i've got my uggs on because i'm just in the house just really simple really nice i think it works very well with the fringe vibe I actually washed my hair last night sorry my battery died the color has really settled well i was feeling very very dark before and i wasn't loving the fringe with how dark it was but actually it's starting to settle and i'm liking it a lot more i just hate you know when you have your hair dyed and especially when it's my winter color which is darker i hate it when i first have it done whereas with my summer color i love it when i first have it done and then i hate it the further away from my appointment i get i wish there was a happy medium we literally my summer color is to mix my winter color with a lighter shade so there is literally no in between there is no in between unless i want to go in and have my hair retoned literally every three weeks which i really don't want to do i don't want to go to the hairdresser that much but maybe that's maybe that's what i'm going to need to do if i'm going in for the fringe trims all the time i might as well go in for the toners as well and have it looking really glossy maybe because yeah i just felt like i was too dark in the beginning but this this is my happy place and this is how i look normally after i've just had my hair done i'm going to talk to my hairdresser and see but anyway none of you care about my hair <laughs> because this is about the outfits but yeah this is my outfit 
of the day love this super comfy just tucked this in to the pocket so that it had more shape because i didn't love it like the full i just felt like it didn't do much for me this kind of has given me a little bit more of a like elongated shape and it didn't cut me off right across my middle so I, I really like that so yeah that is my new little jumper which i'm just loving good morning i am off to London today. This is not my full outfit. I would be very, very chilly, but I wanted to show you what is underneath first because I love this outfit. I've had this one saved for quite a while. I saw a photo a little while back of someone wearing something similar and I just loved it so much and I just thought, wow, I've got all of that stuff in my wardrobe, like almost the exact same items. So yeah, I love this. It's so cute. So this is a blazer that I actually wore a lot in the run-up to my wedding and I've been looking for a way to wear it in autumn winter and I just saw this photo and I was like yeah with jeans like whether it's blue jeans black jeans it just looks really nice I love these ones these are from Cos these are the best jeans in my opinion and they work the best with my Topshop boots which are my autumn winter staple I love the way these ones especially just literally skim ever so slightly above the floor when I'm wearing these so it's just the perfect perfect length and then I have I have nothing on underneath this because we're wearing blazer as the not the outer layer so nothing on underneath but I'm wearing this bag which is a new one again another anthropology find this one is in the olive green which I love and I also just saw that they do like little mini versions of this that you can like add to the bag as a bag charm so best believe I have ordered that yeah these are such a good size for every day I have one in pink which I love, but it's very much more spring summer, whereas this is just the perfect autumn colour. I did want to get it in the brown, but because I already have the brown in the mini, I wasn't sure if it was too much. And then I didn't want to just get like a plain black because I already have my YSL black tote. So I went for the green and I'm very happy with my decision. I think it's a really nice tone to add to my wardrobe, like a nice addition. But I don't have anything in this colour for autumn. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm not really wearing much in terms of jewellery today. I've just got some little Monica Vinader hoops in, which I have had Four years and I just love so much. I need to put my engagement ring on on the way out. It, I keep it in the bathroom. It doesn't live in my dressing room and I put it on before I leave the house. But I will be putting that on before I go. But yeah, I need to show you the coat. So this is my coat option for the day. I love the neckline on this and that it's high enough that you can't see the blazer poking out from underneath. I think it works really well. And I was a little bit concerned when I was wearing the blazer as not my outer layer that I might struggle in terms of having a coat on. But this one from Mango is perfect. If they still do this, I will link it, but I'm not sure if they've brought it back this year. But I think this also works really nicely with the khaki tone of the bag. Like they contrast nicely, but they, they don't clash. And I love that. So yeah, that is my outfit of the day do you know what i think this might be where i leave you for this video because we've done a lot of outfits it's been well over a week i just kept on going i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some autumn outfit inspiration i know i don't do these as much as i used to i'm really not sure if like on the whole you guys love them so let me know if you do enjoy them if you do share them save them give them a thumbs up because i'll go off of your comments and likes and how many times the video gets watched so those things let me know you like a video and then i'll do more of it so if you like it share it like it save it everything everything like that if i feel like you guys want to see it then i'll definitely do more but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this and i'll see you all again very very soon love you bye